So in this video I'm talking about the really simple question that 50% of all Harvard students got wrong. A baseball bat and a baseball cost $1.10. The baseball bat costs $1 more than the ball. So the question is how much does the ball cost? 10 cents, right? No, wrong. That could maybe be your instinct but it's actually wrong. The correct answer would be 5 cents. And this tricky question is the first question that's asked on the so-called cognitive reflection test. This cognitive reflection test is a simple test with only three questions asked. Professor Shane Frederick from the Yale University designed this test. He gave this test to around 3500 people. A lot of them are college students. Only 17% got all three questions right. But there's a really simple way to increase the amount of people that get all three questions right. If you present the questions in a font that is much harder to read, 65% of people get all three questions right. There have been also an experiment in Ohio which proves that if teachers are using fonts that are harder to read in worksheets etc., students score significantly higher in tests etc. But why does this happen? It's because a very interesting effect in our brain. So in our brain are two different panels of thinking. Let's call them system 1 and system 2. So system 1 is quick, intuitive and effortless. It's the panel that helps you, for example, to answer questions like 1 plus 1 or recognize phases etc. And says 10 cents to the baseball bat and baseball problem. On the other hand, there's system 2 thinking. It's slow, analytical and more effortful. This panel or system is the one that if you concentrate on something and the one that says 5 cents when it comes to the baseball bat and baseball problem. It's very important to know that most of the time our brains are operating on system 1 thinking. But in some cases our brain starts to switch to system 2. For example so called cognitive strain. This hits in if something is hard to process for example. It's like with the example of a harder to read font. That's why people normally fail when it comes to cognitive reflection tests. But when you use a harder to read font, they succeed, because system 2 gets activated. The deeper thinking process that results of using system 2 leads to more successes in tests like this. There is also a funny fact that people are more likely to trust facts if they are written in a harder to read font. They are more likely to be aware of question it. So how can you use this fact for you? If you maybe need to proofread an essay etc. Just write it in a harder to read font. That will help you to be better when it comes to finding mistakes. Because system 2 is activated. By the way, here are the two other questions. 